Alright, welcome back to a very special Nitz's Daughter's Birthday edition of Quiplash. I'm not sure if any of these questions are going to be related to birthdays, but we'll see how much we can get away with. I really will laugh if there's a birthday question after the first one. Also, Crit has misspelled his own name, so he is now Crut. <laughs> Bravo. Critical hat. Instead of an A, it's a U2. All right. Well, I had some interesting questions. Combination of two actors that could possibly star in the next season of True Detective together. Okay, voting time. Pick your favorite. Well, admittedly, one of these answers is something that I would probably end up saying. Worst combination of two actors that could possibly star in the next season of True Detective together. I don't know actors or what the hell True Detective is, although it does seem to be a True Detective or a detective show. Wait, but you, you, you know who Kim Kardashian and Lindsay Lohan are, right? Lindsay is spelled wrong. Oh, god damn it. I already voted for it. And one of them's the. Well, they're not really an actress, but. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It's a very general definition of actress nowadays. Next up, what the Easter Bunny does with his free time. Hey, I stopped the quip flash on your crit. Alright, what does the Easter Bunny do with his free time? Read like a rabbit or lays eggs? Imagine how many he needs. <laughs> you know what would be an interesting person to have on a detective show? Like, get like Hulk Hogan or Bruce Willis. They just instead of solving crimes, they just sit there and they kill the bad guys. It's just nothing but action. Oh, I was up against Nitz. Did I win? No. Hey, I won that match. Damn. <laughs> Figured breeding like a rabbit would be uh, kind of funny, but nope. Next in line, what you would wow, I blew you out of the water. Yeah, it was it was a little <laughs> bit rough there. What you would do with two free hours and a flamethrower. Kill Crit or set the world on fire. Wow. Hey, that's a song. Yes. I think Crit Kill I'm Crit used to that song HDA. because it was like played four billion times in Fallout. <laughs> the one game where you rarely use the flamethrower. Mine says waiting for the players. Oh, must be mine. Yeah, I was gonna do kill four. Yeah, you can't vote if one of yours is an answer. Oh, the pandering takes it from the stream. And interestingly enough, Krat voted for Kill Krat. Bravo. Next one. Make up a curse word. Making up a curse word. Flubber duck or fam. Now that is the one talent. Like, I, I always love when there's these, like, random characters in a TV show that can just put out, like, a string of nonsense curses whenever they're angry. Like, there's some creativity there. And apparently G Hulk Hogan is a... has major hate right now since he's racist. Oh, lovely. I was just thinking of action stars. Just said Will Smith. He's not really much okay, of an action one. star. He was an independent thing to the world. It's like literally the only movie anyone ever remembers him being. <laughs> Men in Black. That yeah, those two. The real secret to living to age 100: lots of water and avoiding <laughs> men, or not listening to ghost jokes. <laughs> I don't want to vote for the pandering, but. <laughs> <laughs> All of the pandering. Good. We have split the votes. Were you lots of water? Nope. Crit was. I just wasn't gonna vote for the pandering, so I made sure one of the two didn't get a quick flash. A business or service that shouldn't have a drive-through window. Okay, business or service that shouldn't have a drive-through window. Starbucks or Prostitutes Inc. Uh, isn't the whole point of prostitutes a drive through window? Uh, not really. I mean, the angling alone would make a drive through window impractical for that. 
Starbucks actually well, does have drive through windows, interestingly enough. But you pull... You, that answer is invalid, then. Both of them are invalid. There's actually a coffee shop that backs HDA's traffic up for, like, three blocks around it over in the mornings near where I live. Because they have a drive-up window, and they're in, like, the worst location possible. Yeah. Nicely done, HGA. Nicely done. <laughs> And next is... And it doesn't say a made-up business, it says a business. It's a business. Pimps. Alright, bad title for a self-help book. Shut up and do it, or you need help, so do I. <laughs> I feel like that's Crit's. Crit already had both his. Has he? Oh yep. yeah, he has. Interesting. So, Ghost is one of these. I'm not gonna God, say it because I don't want to influence. Did you guess the right one? Wow, shut up and do it fails. Did I vote for you, Ghost? Nope. Wow. I didn't think you'd go with the meme. Up next, an that was the meme? For a set of kids pajamas. I was unaware that that was a meme. <laughs> vote on your devices. All right, inappropriate theme for a set of kids' pajamas. Crit Nacia's faces, strip them Barbies. What? Okay. And I, I couldn't think of a good self-help book. Like, I, I was thinking, like, you can't do it or something to, like, you know, reverse thing. But I'm like, all my answers are good answers. Like, I can justify how every bad title I came up with would actually be a good title, because it would be, you know, reverse psychology. <laughs> so, pandering wins, you lucky son Round of a bitch. In the Let's see the scores. When I can't think of something, I gotta try and pander a little bit. I'm gonna lose anyways. I am only 20 points ahead of crit. I'm doing pretty good. Seven. Seven. <laughs> You're in seven? Yeah. I gotta really start ratcheting up my uh, I'm in answers. Alright. Well, I'm not really great on my answers here, but I couldn't think of anything better. I'm actually proud of mine. I don't think I've got this any chance. Short model everyone should live by. Fuck bitches, get money, or mind your damn business. Uh. I'm trying to think of other short mottos. If you think of a joke, no matter how terrible, you should always say it. That's how I run. <laughs> <laughs> that was mine on the right. And it won by a little bit. Hey, as long as it won. I was proud of that one, too. <laughs> Next one. Wow. The worst theme for a worst pinball theme for a machine. pinball machine. BDSM or pinball theme. What's BDSM? Bondage and stuff. Fifty Shades of Grey. Wow. Oh. Basically, I know the M pain for fetish. Masochism. Yeah, pain <laughs> fetish would be a general good one to do that way. Although, for people who like that stuff, I guess that would be a good theme for a pinball machine. Yeah, but it'd be weird, because every time the ball hits something, you'd either hear a moan or a pain. I'm pretty sure they have that already, though, Ghost. Yes! I did not like that answer, but I it was the only thing that popped into my head at all for bad ideas for pinball machines. Wow, you went dirty. Yes. I figured a lot of people wouldn't know what the abbreviation stood for, but, yeah. That's what I get for watching Saints Row uh, playthroughs on YouTube in the last few days. <laughs> Finishing this sentence. When I'm rich, my mansion will have a room called the blank room. The ghost room or the no stupid allowed room. Mighty, did you pander again? <laughs> See, the proper thing is a room called the Chocolate Fountain Room. Where everything is like literally wall-to-wall -wall chocolate fountains. Didn't uh, Notch literally buy a house that had a room that was dedicated to candy? You make that much money, I would. The 
pandering slightly wild. I knew Mighty was pandering. Yay. <laughs> wow, one point difference. Your devices. The name of your new plumbing company will pump your pipes or pipes for days. Or Daisy. <laughs> the first one sounds like porn. See, I'm surprised no one came up with, like, laying pipe. The plumber's crack. Ooh, that's a good one, too. I couldn't think of anything for mine. It's like I was sitting there trying to hold like, think. Audience wasn't even split. Uh, I, well, like like, I like the plumber's crack, because they could have, like, a slogan, like... You know, do your pipes have a crack? Well, then call the plumber's crack. And next, the best way to scare a burglar. Oh, crit voted for you, HDA. Thank you, crut. Best way to scare a burglar. Whip your dick out and turn it into a propeller or steal their wallet. Now, see, tell a ghost joke would fit perfect here. I actually would have voted for that if it was. I don't know. It's not really so much as scary as in it'll catch them off guard while you shoot them. No, I can see, like, your jokes are that bad that it would scare me. I don't like either of them, though, so I didn't vote. Wow. Did not expect that one to win. Steal your wallet? Nope, the other one. No, it's the I thought, I thought you know, thing. it'd be scary. Like, you know, they're sneaking around your house. I was like, right, you were wallet. steal. Uh, yeah, it, I couldn't think of anything this game. Like, I've sucked. I admit it. <laughs> your devices. A bad name for a hospital. Death is near or the chop shop. <laughs> oh, what Other ones would be home? Igor Presents the Hospital. Um, or, uh... What is that movie called where people end up eating people in the future and it's like green? Soylent Green? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that, that'd be actually really bad for a hospital. Or you, or you name that the shop. hill the hospital is on. <laughs> uh. And next is a great place Yay, to hide the Chop Shop egg. one. Great place to hide an Easter egg. Wow, related questions once again. Um, in a barrel of a loaded cannon or the toilet. Well, at least no one said, like, up your butt. With HDA in here, I'm surprised. <laughs> I didn't get this question. I don't like either one, though. No, it'd be, like, in the toilet itself or, like, in the back tank. Like, you'd never either think way. you'd there. I didn't vote. I don't- I did not like either answer. One of the worst places to hide it? Inside slippers. Because when you put your slippers on, or shoes on, and then just suddenly you get crunch. Well, I'm not pretty a good sure thing. when you put a shoe on, you don't put full force, you peel the egg before you crush it. I don't put my shoes on half-assed. Just jam my foot in there. Another use for Another gravy. use for gravy. Sailing the ocean on my gravy boat. Or beef extract. I think beef extract is a used in gravy. I don't know. I, I, uh, Another I, use for gravy? Uh, Cooking, uh, cook, using it to cook rice for whatever gravy flavored rice. Oops. I'm on like a super rice kick it for me. I didn't lately. vote for that one, but I was gonna, I guess, on the first one. That yeah, looks like gravy vote got our like first quiplash of the game. Yay. It was pretty good, sailing the ocean on my gravy boat. I got a chuckle out of that one. That's the end of round two. Let's take a look at the scores. I should have prevented it by voting on Holy. <laughs> Dick so, move. Yay, I moved up to sixth, but I'm still, what, like, what pretty closely far behind. This is round I'm just not funny on this. these prompts. Like, there's certain prompts where I just, like, yes, I have the most witty Ooh, answer first. possible. I'm in third. I'm only in first by 380 points, though. Our last flash prompt is... If I could lose Another this. use for cooked spaghetti. There, there comes a point where you just give up and you say, I can't come up with a good answer. <laughs> Fuck, I was gonna have a great one, but I hit a five by accident. Okay, Three people didn't have enough time. Three votes to give to players. You can give them All right. to one player. Uses for cooked spaghetti. Wearing it like a clown wig, slapping crit, 
Lasso for the Meatball Ranch, Making a Wig, and for a Comedy Bit. Mine You're slapping be... Crit Ghost. Mine was gonna be playing now in a wig, is running around the city throwing spaghetti at people. What? And... Exactly. Comedy spelled wrong. No, oh, well. Come day. We come down too hard on spelling, as long as we can tell what it is. It bugs me, though. Huh. Also, I like how wearing, like, a clown wig actually has a period on it. Ghost? Like, who, like, it'd be funny if that was an exact duplicated answer. That would take some effort. That was mine. Ghost, is yours a comedy bit? Nope. Nope, because it's a slapping crit. He went pandering. Yeah, I couldn't think of a damn thing, so I pandered the hell out of it. How the hell did you know that? Mitz knows my sense of humor. It is ridiculous. He always almost, like, he's got, like, probably 80 to 90% accuracy on predicting my answers. I say it's higher than 80. Oh, Did I... Yeah, I must have won that with 40%. Unless... No. Nope. Lasso for the Meatball Ranch. Tied. We actually have a two-way tie on the final round. Oh! Crit and I both Ghost, you know that. what you should have done? Hmm. You should have went with the achievement one. Ah, oh, oh, that one would actually fit, yeah. I don't even remember what it was, but... Nits one, huzzah. Yay! And the Lindsay Lohan Kim Kardashian in True Detective was our top answer. Tied with sailing on the ocean on my gravy boat. Boo. The Lindsay Lohan like... one had a spelling error. <laughs> I like my gravy We really do come down a little hard on the spelling errors, though. Hey, it is my prerogative. I find it funny if there isn't spelling errors. True, true, true. It does take away from the joke, I won't deny that. But it is also funny if there's a horrible misspelling. Oh no, they do have a quality assurance lead. And several quality assurance people. Well, hopefully they uh, received our feedback. <laughs> we'll see you next time on Quiplash when hopefully I'm actually funny. <laughs>